So I know it's been a couple of months since I've posted anything, and I'm so sorry, but work has been extremely crazy. We had a big project that we had to get out, and as a CAD administrator, I'm over all the projects, so yeah, I was busy. Uh, so hopefully we can get a little bit more repetitive on our posting, so... So, uh, we are starting to transition over to uh, CADWorks 2019 uh, at our company and um, going from 2017. And one, one of the things that had been missing in 18 and 19 uh, is that the um, steel menu is now missing. Uh, Intergraph has decided to separate out uh, the steel portion from CADWorks plant and I understand why they do that but sometimes as pipers uh, we go they're taking away our toys so uh, what we ha what have what I have come up with is being able to store the seal members inside the support modeler uh, we're gonna get into a little bit more of the CAD administration side of it uh, more than the user side of it, but um, you know, I, I think it'll help out with everyone. So here we go. So, like I said, the steel menu has is been removed from 2018 and 2019 in CADWorks. So uh, what we did was we started incorporating it inside the steel uh, the support modeler. So inside my support modeler, I have a uh, Pull down called steel members. Uh, this is a very basic uh, menu, so usually I have my other supports in here, but this one we just have the steel. So we have one that's called steel members. So you can see we have a W beam in here. Uh, you can have your angles, your square tube, your round bar flat bar whatever else you want in here and I'll show you how to do that uh, shortly let's say we wanted to place W beam right here uh, coming off this beam going over to this pipe so we can give it a little bit more support I know it's a little overkill but you know for demonstration purposes it works uh, so under my uh, uh, pipe support view here uh, I click the W beam I'm going to click this um, uh, construction line that I drew out. And when I do that, it comes up with this dialog box. Uh, you can see that we're putting in a 6 by 15 and uh, the length is negative 1. Okay, The reason it's negative 1 is so that way when you place it in the model, you can drag it out as far as you need to, uh, you know, that way. If you know how far you need to go, you can always just hard code it in, say two foot or three foot or you know whatever you want to. So we're going to leave it as negative one, and we're going to hit OK. And you can see that the beam is being pulled out. Now the odd thing is, by doing this, it goes from the bottom of the support. It doesn't go from the center line. Yeah, you know it works. So we're going to come over here and we're going to grab this part right here. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, great, but what if I don't want a 6x15, I need a bigger size or a smaller size? I got you covered. So, if you double click on the support, okay, and it brings up to the uh, pipe support editor here, you can click on your W beam right here, and you can see 6x15, you got your weight, you got your length, you can change your length here if you want to. Uh, if you click on view part data table, okay, you can see it shows you all the other uh, supports with inside of your catalog. And again, I will show you later how to do that. Uh, so let's say we want to go something bigger. Let's say an 8 by 10. Okay, so we're going to click 8 by 10. You notice when I click on that, the uh, checkbox for the 6 by 15 is now gone. So we're going to sit that and watch what happens to the beam. And we're going to hit OK. It grew bigger. So now, if you hover over it, you can see that you've got a uh, 
you've got a uh, eight by 10. So that's how you change it on the fly. So right now my CAD administrators that are watching going, okay, now tell me how I can do this in real life. So uh, you can do this with inside of your, uh, you know, your spec uh, PRJ or with inside of a PSL, your site uh, pipe support library. Um, it works the same, you know. So let's go ahead and go to our, our PRJ that's uh, controlling this one here. So we're going so inside of our uh, PRJ here, we have our uh, pipe support library right here built inside of our PRJ. Uh, you can see that here's our steel members. That's what matches uh, your pull down right here. Uh, we've got our W beam uh, folder with our W beam inside of it, uh, and you've got um, the you can see that right there now you can see that we have a angle folder in here but you're not seeing it show up here that's because there's nothing inside of it so let's go ahead and start building an angle here so we're going to right click on uh, the support folder and we're going to add support assembly so we're going to hit OK and we're going to give it a name we're going to say uh, angle member okay we're going to keep the size range is uh, everything we don't want to increase the size if it's insulated um, you come over to your, your components available to you and you can see that you've got the steel uh, members right here you got your w, uh, wide flange you got your channels you got your angles your t-shapes all that uh, let me show you how you can get uh, get those in there so when you click on your uh, PRJ, um, actually you click on your steel members, your, your uh, support uh, library. Right down here is your steel library. You've got to load those in. They don't come in automatically, so you've got to path that out to where your steel members are. Uh, by default, you can do it to your C drive. Uh, CADWORKS 2019 support uh, folder and under steel I. Uh, if you're deploying this inside of a network, you want to have all those on a network side so that way everyone's um, sh uh, seeing the same ones. So that's how you do that. Um, so let's go back to our angles here. Uh, we're going to, again, we got to add a new one because we never finished that one. So we're going to say angle. Uh, and then we're going to pick right here steel angles and we're going to do an equal leg and we're going to go OK and for good measure we're just going to give it a long description so angle member and we're going to hit OK now by default when you place a member it's going to be the first member that's inside the catalog so if you go right here go to uh, your subfolder for angles go to your angle and then right here here's your um, your data file uh, that controls it so you can go right here and you can see right here the default is uh, a one by one by eight so let's say you want a slightly bigger default in there so you can click right here and select the one you want. So let's say a two by two by a quarter. Okay, let's double that size. Uh, your center line, you you can change your center line to top, center, bottom. We're going to do center on this one, and then our our length right here. This is where you set your your length. Um, you can go ahead and give it a size. Right now it's set to one, so it's going to be a one inch long angle. Oh, we don't want that we want to be able to adjust that so we're going to hit dash negative one okay and there we go we're good so we're going to hit apply and we're going to hit save okay let that save and now we're going to come back over to cadworks and hit reload so once we hit reload you can see that our angle has now shown up 
So I hope that helps getting over the loss of losing the steel uh, palette inside of CADWorks 18 and 19. Uh, give you something to work with uh, to, to allow the piping designers to still put in their steel members uh, for temporary supports or whatever for the uh, civil structural group to do their job. Um, so please uh, like, share, sh uh, subscribe. Uh, we are planning some other videos um, coming up soon. And if there's something you want me to cover, just hit me up and, you know, we'll, we'll cover it. Thank you.